It's a new week, which means it's a new video coming up. And we have until Friday to get Mona 100% done running startup ready to go to dino for Wednesday because we start a new project on Monday. So Chris right now is doing all of his tucky tucky back in there trying to get that situated. I just did the wastegate dump, which I'll show you here in a minute. We ended up doing the True Focus Fab oil catch can, which is really sweet because it doesn't come with any tabs already welded on it. You get to be the guy to weld them on. In that sense, you also get to pick where you want to mount it and how you want your tabs to go. So shout out to True Focus Fab for making these tabs that are just, all you have to do is bend it how you want to and then bolt it on. These already had M8 holes right there for it that were threaded. So I just grabbed the BMW M8 bolts and just made them fit right there. I only needed two. And then they send you four of those tabs. I only needed two, so I ended up making a new spot for our power steering reservoir because Chris wanted it to be in the engine bay right here-ish somewhere and wanted it. We have our power steering pressure regulator and high pressure hoses and all that stuff routed over there. So that's the best spot for it. Plus it's kind of out of the way. So it gives us access to under the intake manifold where all of our sensors are going to be. And uh, yeah, got the oil cooler. We just tabbed it right off the top of the inner cooler there. We did find out that this crank pulley is not going to work with our um, KRC pump in our rad bracket because the spacing is just a little bit off because they put the balancing portion on the front as opposed to in the rear. So this is their V2 version. So we got a V1 one ordered. So we got to pull the intercooler out to clean everything out anyways. Here is my wastegate dump tube. No, I didn't do pies. I'm running out of time. It's very upsetting for me. Don't bring it up in the comments because it would have been, should have been, but look at this, you know, we used to have two wastegates so we had two tubes dumping through here and there's not enough room in there to make a Y work. So I just did a little teardrop style Johnny on there. It'll still shoot out and around away from the car, but it looks cool and it fills up that void that we already have. There. So guys, I'm very happy to announce that we got a new partner with us, Benchmark Abrasives. So we usually get car parts, or, you know, manufacturers of car parts to partner with us to build cars. This one I'm really excited about because this is all for fabrication. All the drill bits, all the flapper discs, buffing pads. We got tungsten. They even got me a new grinding mask that has a big nose for it, which makes it available to put a respirator on. So you can have a ventilator so you don't breathe in all the nasty stuff. So they sent all this stuff. I never had no idea that they had this much stuff either. So I have all of my polishing waxes for polishing stuff up, my cutting disc. They even sent us the soap, and if you guys know about this soap, it's the best stuff there is. It's the only thing that gets off. Well, this, I'll show you afterwards. I'll wash my hands real quick. So they gave us that, you got handy wipes, everything. So check them out, benchmarkabrasives.com. They are awesome. Their flapper discs are really inexpensive. They sell them by a five pack, 10 pack, and up and they last a long time. This is how I actually got turned on to them. Joel found them because I kept buying them ones for like five, six dollars at Home Depot and I burned through them in like a day. So that adds up after a while. So they sent us a sweet care package and I am very excited about it. First of many new partners with us at Drift HQ. Check them out, Benchmark Abrasives. Yeah. Thanks guys. Literally just sandpaper and soap and water. Yeah. Works real good. And then we got the stuff for the track, the track, and then here. Here, yes. <laughs> this is like the one that we leave at the trailer. This is the one you take to the bathroom. Yeah, yes. <laughs> So we got our four inch HD clamp from Vibrant. And do you need one of these? No, not really, but we don't run a blow off valve so you get compressor surge. And one of our other ones hit pop the coupler on it and we don't like that. So Vibrant offers a four inch HD clamp that'll fit onto your Turbo Smart Turbo on the front or gear on any of the other ones, but it's gonna look really sweet with this Turbo Smart Turbo. And it's just big, bold, it's Vibrant. That's what it is. I can weld it on. 
Dude, no way. Shut up, Omar. Oh, Yo, quick you, release head. Just take your head off. Blink. Cool. <laughs> rent it out for the afternoon. <laughs> Five. So we are into the final stretches. It is Wednesday, which means you guys get a video tonight. Second cool thing is we're almost done. One of the things we do is make lots of lists. This is how you stay on track, stay on target, get it done the right way. It doesn't have to necessarily be in the order, but it has to get done. And some things you can't do until other things are done. For instance, I can't put the rest of the body panels on because I have to fix the upper um, bash bar for the front of the car. Once that's done, then I can put the front body panels on, I can do the headlights, do the hood, do the arrow catch, hood latches, all of that stuff. But in the meantime, I'm trying to get my um, hydro done so Chris can run his lines, do all of his brake lines and stuff. That's another thing. You gotta make sure that you're able to work with the guy that you're working with and make sure you're not holding him up. So I'm trying to get all of the little things that I can get done for Chris so he can just keep attacking everything on the list that he has to do. Uh, yeah, and we have two more days left and t Wednesday's almost over. It's like four, five o'clock right now. So coming down to the final stretches, it's getting really stressful. Yeah. Not to mention, you know, we got a Donnie today and yesterday, but he's currently on another project. That has to, all of them, buddy. Take them all out. So you see how the bolts are bigger than the other bolts? Yeah. All the bigger bolts are the ones that come out. All the small bolts stay in. You can tell the bolts there are bolts by the way that they are. You can tell they're a bolt by the way that they are, exactly. So we did a pull-up hydro for Duarte. I still have to finish cranking this bad boy in. But I did it at an angle, so it's not straight up and down. So when he pulls, you can pull it in towards him. It's going to be a little bit more ergonomically correct for him. And, you know, I gave him a nice little love note right there. <laughs> He's going to love it. Chris's technique on management is silence and precision and focus. Laser focus. You can talk to the camera when he's focused. I can talk to the camera. Whether I'm focused or not. It's a good technique. I, I, I lose track of a lot of things by talking a lot. Yeah, uh, I'm just fine. It fills the void. It keeps me busy. I can't listen to music. I might as well talk to you. Boom! Look at that. Yeah. Locked in place. Perfect. All right, check that one off the list. We got vacuum lines, crank pulley. That's gonna fucking. I'm gonna get started on that. Press the body panels. We just went over wiring harness. Do do do. Coolant and lines. I'm almost done with those, but I need the car to go back up. So once Chris is done doing his wiring for the fans and relay stuff, uh, I will bring the car back up, and then I can show you all my cool um, coolant lines and fuel lines that we did. It's all hard line, all bent. 
It's real pretty. You'll like um, it. It was in the B roll. So. Oh, it was in the B roll. So you got to see it. Yeah, so that got knocked off. I still have a little bit left, so that's why I can't scratch that big one off because that's a. That was a big one for me to do. Then the rest are like little passenger seat, change pedals, mount fuel pressure regulator, add oil and filter, change fuel pumps. Donnie, already got that. Donnie, you done with your fuel pumps? Uh, fuel pumps are done. Yeah. I think that was Boom, look thing. at that. Change fuel pumps. Drive shaft we can't do yet because we have to get the clutch to engage in order to pop the transmission that last quarter inch in. Fill all fluids, still waiting on that. Install windows, we're condor. Intake, bada bing, bada boom. That is in. Let's just cross them all off. This dash install, I'm ready to do it. We just need to wait for Chris to finish his wiring because uh, if you've ever worked with um, carbon fiber, you don't ever want to rub up against it. Especially if it's got dust all over it, carbon fiber dust, you're gonna be itchy, itchy long stockings. Uh, reassemble fuel cell, you did that? Oh no, we don't have the, we're still waiting on the skin for it, or the bladder. Um, install starter. Yeah, so one, one key element when you're building a car on a time crunch is be prepared for next day Be air. prepared for not being prepared because you'll run into stuff that you have didn't think would happen. So that means uh, next day shipping for everything. Next, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You definitely need next day. Spare no expense, especially if you're on a time crunch. If you really do it right, you order everything ahead of time and you go over all your parts, make sure you have everything, and then you order a couple extras. Just go with the next day. Yeah, you're Donnie likes wasting too. money. Yeah, you're still getting next day. He's right. You're yeah. still getting next day. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, or you can get it at DriftHQ.com. Next day. Next day. Yes. Yeah. You gotta call us ahead though. Yeah, make sure you call your salesman and tell him that you want it next day. That way he can go out there and pull the parts off the shelf and get them sent out. And it has to be before 4:30. And All right. So if you guys remember when we were starting on this car months and months and months ago. I polished this really cool plate in the back and it kind of looked see-through. We cut it up because we needed to make bulkheads. It was a bulkhead plate and we weren't sure how we were going to run it so I just made it ahead of time. So now we have our bulkheads cut, put in there, everything. So we're going to make it like that. I'm going to weld it in place. I'm going to cap the sides obviously. And then we'll have our bulkheads done which means Chris can run all of the um, radiator lines coolant lines from the radiator. He can also run all of the fuel lines. At least most of it, we're still waiting for our, um, whatever that thing's called. Fuel bladder? Bladder, yeah. Ha. The bladder to come in, which should be in hopefully tomorrow. And then we can put all the rest of the lines in and then it's just put everything back together, basically. We're almost there. Home stretch, and we got two days left. Chris is working really hard on his wiring harness. Not cutting any corners still making it look sexy putting a little drift hq logos on there heat shrinking everything twisting everything you know he's really putting in the extra effort so make sure to thank chris for his effort on his wiring harness that he is just busting out oh so fast and it looks glorious so far and then the boys are going to grid life we won't be there but if you're at grid life this weekend shout out to you you're awesome let us know how it was we're going to be in here working on more cars because after this one But we have a new secret project coming up. Some of you probably already know what it is. You, you've got the cheat code, you know which videos to watch, which ones that don't matter. Uh, so if you watched it, you know what we're about to do and we're looking forward to that. But once we finish that, we can get back onto this and then also Savio's car. So yeah, let's knock that out. Like, subscribe, comment. Oh, yeah. Let us know if you're gonna be at Grid Life this weekend in North Carolina. It's North Carolina, right? South Carolina. South Carolina, even better. So yeah, I know my boy Justin Hart's gonna be there with his Corvette. He was really excited. Uh, I will try and remember to send you a radiator support for your C5 Corvette so you can test it and see if it fits. Uh, stay tuned, maybe they'll put it in the trailer. Do it tomorrow morning. He'll do it tomorrow morning, boom, there it is. I need a y'all. Y'all. All right, we're going to grid life. Uh, I think I think that's where we're going, Joel. Are you ready, Joel? <laughs> Joel is the furthest thing away from it. Like the, if. Is your car ready? Uh, I need to change tires. Yeah, hey, I gotta mount tires too and find out what the heck this vibration is, but you know. The day before things. Ready. We're pretty much ready. Yeah, we'll be there. We need to mount some trailer tires. Oh, it's from Enduro Cell or whoever's No ground. <laughs>